Are you ready to sprinkle some holiday magic into your text designs? Well, guess what? Today I've got something incredibly exciting for you. Hey everyone, it's Brian here. Welcome back to my channel. I want to give a shout out to one of my followers here on YouTube who recently asked about this very topic. So in today's video, you'll learn how to come up with phrases that practically sing Christmas cheer. Design them in ideogram with just a few clicks, upscale them for that professional touch, and then lay it all out beautifully in Canva. It's going to be as easy as decorating Christmas cookies, I promise. So what are we waiting for? Let's head on over to my computer and get started. Let's go. Okay, so welcome to my computer screen. Now, whenever I'm creating a design for any holiday or any event throughout the entire calendar year, one of my favorite go-to platforms in order to gain inspiration and motivation is Pinterest. And as you can see here, I already went ahead and I opened up Pinterest and I basically typed in, you know, Christmas phrases. And this was one of the pages that popped up. I clicked on it. It's a very simple process. I don't really need to show you all of it. Just go and type in Christmas phrases and then choose a board that appeals to you. And then just go through them and see what kind of designs have been placed on this particular board here. And then input it into ChatGPT so that you could give it a base and idea of what it is that you're looking for. Remember, we don't want to replicate the designs that are already out and about. We want to be able to come up with something new, unique to provide to our customer base so that they're not always seeing the same thing over and over again, year in, year out. So what I did was I already went ahead and I took a number of these phrases and I placed them into ChatGPT. And basically, this is what I actually typed into ChatGPT. I'm going to give you a list of phrases and sentences that have already been produced as t-shirt designs in the past. After analyzing the text provided, please give me a list of 10 new, unique, and funny Christmas phrases, stroke sentences that I can use for new designs this Christmas. Here is the example list. And as you can see here, I detailed, I don't know what, 10 or 15 of the phrases that I found on that Pinterest board in order for ChatGPT to be able to analyze, get an idea of what it is that I'm looking for, and then provide me back with a list. In this particular case, I believe I asked for 10 unique funny Christmas phrases that I could use in order to create some new designs for you know, Christmas this year. And ChatGPT came back with the following um, Christmas phrases, sentences over here. Some of them are actually quite comical. So the next thing I did was I went into Google and I basically copied and pasted these phrases into Google in order to see if there's any kind of activity based on these particular phrases and designs. And I am happy to say that for the most of them, uh, there really wasn't that much action. Now, some of you might say, well, Brian, you know, if there isn't any action in terms of, you know, other designs, well, what kind of competition are you going to be competing against? How can you validate it? You're not wrong. But you know what? Sometimes you just want to take a step off the cliff and take that, you know, that jump and, and give it a try and come up with something new so that, you know, with the right amount of marketing on social media and whatnot, you can actually start encouraging potential customers to see these new phrases, to consider them and actually come on over to your shop and actually click and make the purchase. So basically what I did was I went through them and one of the ones that caught my attention was this one, Jingle All the Way to the Buffet. And I thought, you know, way buffet, it rhymes, people who love going out to eat at restaurants, particularly if they're really into buffets, this could be a niche that I could actually tap into. So I decided I was going to go with this phrase. Now, once I had the phrase in mind, and again, you could use any of them, you could generate as many different combinations with the help of ChatGPT, it's all up to you. Well, there's no right or wrong answer. You choose which of the phrases, sentences that, you know, resonates with you, and give it a shot, see what you can create, and hopefully, you know, it will be successful and you'll actually land a lot of sales. So here we are on Ideogram, and basically all I did was I typed in text-based typography, because we know that, you know, Ideogram, out of all of the AI image generating uh, platforms that are out there, this is the best one to date, at least to my knowledge. If any of you know of anything better, please do comment in the comment section down below. But today, this is the one I found as really helped me in terms of generating designs with text and for the most part the text comes out correctly spelled now yes for those of you who've been using ideogram or if you're new to it there will be occasion as you can see here on the screen where it doesn't always get it correct 
But you know, when you compare it to other AI image generators like Midjourney, um, Leonardo, and even Blue Willow, all three that I use religiously to as well, I have really, I can speak nothing but high praise for all of them when it comes to generating images. But when it comes to text, they just don't compare to Ideogram. So this currently is my platform of choice. And as you can see here, um, we've got some really great designs here. Um, I typed in, again, text-based typography, quotation, jingle all the way to the buffet with an exclamation mark, and then a close quotation. And out of the four here, um, jingle all the way, the buffet, so it missed it. This one over here, jingle all the way to the buffet, was the one that actually came out. Now, I do have to disclose, this is actually a remix of an original design. I didn't want this video to be too, too long, but this was the parent design here. As you can see, jingle all the way, the buffet. So it just missed out on the word two. Because of the fact that this particular design was the closest in terms of, you know, the, the text and whatnot, all I did was click on the remix button. It remixed the design. And as you can see here, we've got the four different designs down at the bottom with this one over here being the best selection of the four. So now that I had my design in hand, um, the next thing that I needed to do was to download it. And then what we want to do is we want to upscale it. Why? Because when you download a design through Ideogram, it's only going to be 1024 by 1024 pixels, which maybe perhaps for a sticker, that's not bad, but for a t-shirt design or something even bigger, um, you definitely want to upscale it so that there will be more resolution that you can actually use to be able to obviously enlarge the design and use it sufficiently on a t-shirt design. So in order to upscale a design for free, I tend to use the following website. And this website is called iloveimg.com. Now don't worry about, you know, writing down the uh, website address. I'm gonna leave it in the description box down below for you to be able to utilize and it's really simple to use. Basically, you're going to either click on select the images, navigate to your folder, or else open up your folder, you know, off to the side, and then just click and drag the image that you want to upload into the selected images. And we're gonna do that right now. So I have the folder with the downloaded design just off camera here. I'm gonna click and I'm gonna drag it, and like it says, drop it like it's hot. We're gonna drop it down, okay, and after it uploads, just above me over here, you're gonna see the size multiplier. You can either upload it 2X or 4X. I would highly recommend that you choose the 4X. And basically, as you can see here, it's 1024 by 1024 pixels. That's the original. On the side at 2X, on the right-hand side, it's 2048 by 2048. If we click on 4X and we wait for it to come in, it's gonna show us a preview where the 4X is gonna be significantly larger than the original, which is what we want. We wanna have a nice sizable size. And as you can see, it's 4096 by 4096 pixels. And if you actually even wanted to increase it even more, you could choose the 4X, download it, and then re-upload it, and then choose 4X again in order to get an even larger image. But I'm not gonna do that for the sake of this video, so that obviously won't be too long. So I already went ahead and chose 4X and downloaded it, basically by choosing Upscale, which I'm gonna move myself out of the way right now. And you can see down below, the upscale button, you just wanna click on it and then you just download it to the folder where you would like the file to be stored. Now, once you have the design upscaled, you wanna open up an image editing program or platform like Canva or Photopea or Photoshop or you know Illustrator, whatever you feel comfortable using. I'm going to be using Canva today because it is readily accessible by everyone. And you, know, you can actually even use the free version for this. I have the paid version, but I'm gonna show you how it works on the paid version. And I'm also gonna show you if you don't have the paid version in terms of what you can do. So here we are on Canva. And basically what you want to do is you want to choose create a design and if you haven't already done so you for the width and the height you want to use the dimensions for a t-shirt design which is 4500 pixels by 5400 pixels and as you can see I have it over here all right so we're just going to click on that Canva is going to open up canvas for you a blank one and then all you want to do is you want to navigate to the folder that has the upscaled version of your design. You're going to click and you're going to drag it onto the canvas. And then once you let it go, obviously Canva is going to upload it. And then just a question of moving your design and resizing it to fit as much of the canvas as you possibly can without obviously going over and making sure that it's nicely balanced. Now, I'm not too worried of the fact that I've got this you know, this white area down over here. Because of the fact that I'm using the paid version of Canva, 
I'm going to be able to delete the background simply by choosing Edit Photo. And then on the side over here, you've got BG Remover. We're going to click on that. And we'll wait for Canva to do its magic. And in a few seconds, we are going to see the design appear without, you know, a background. And as you see, we've got a white background, but don't worry, that's just the canvas. When I download it, I'm going to be downloading it without a background. But suffice it to say, you click, click on the background, change the color to black in order to see what the design would look like on a black t-shirt to make sure that we really got, you know, everything in place. If you wanted to, at this stage of the game, you could click on the design, you could choose edit photo again, and maybe you could actually even increase the saturation if you wanted to. So we're just gonna click on adjust, and just down over here, we've got saturation. So let's just click on the handle here, we're gonna drag it up a little bit. Not too, too much, but we wanna make it pop against the black background. And this is why it's a great idea to change the background of you know your design to black, just so that it can give you a real great idea of how it's going to look on a black t-shirt. Once you're happy with that, you just want to go back to your canvas and change the background. You could leave it to black because obviously if you're going to download it, you're going to uh, download it without black. But I'm just going to change it back to white just to make sure that everything is set. And then once I'm happy with it and it's placed proportionately where I want it to, remember when you're placing your design, you want to make sure that you know the top portion of design is basically just where my button finishes right over here you know just on top of the chest don't put your design over the stomach area unless it's something specific that's pointing upwards or whatnot or maybe if it's a pregnancy t-shirt then you want to put it over the belly area in general you want to make sure that it's in the top portion of a person's chest because those are the type of designs that tend to do very very well so once you are happy with the placement of the design, then we're just going to click on share and then we're going to click on download and then I'm going to make sure that transparent background is toggled and I'm going to choose download and obviously it will download to my hard drive so that obviously I can upload it to my print on demand uh, shop of choice. Now, what if you don't have the paid version of Canva? Well, I've got you covered too as well. Before I had the paid version of Canva, I used to use another website to help me remove the background. And that particular web website is hexcolorspicker.com. Again, I'm gonna leave the link to the website in the description box down below. And basically all you have to do is again, just click and drag your design into the area where it says to drop it. You wait for it to come up. As you can see, it's really, really fast, okay? And then what you wanna do is you wanna click on erase. And then you can, by default, it's set to 20. More often than not, 20 is fine. There will be occasion, particularly if you get a bit of a border around the letters where you might need to increase that. But leaving it at 20, we just click on the color that we want to remove. As you can see, I just clicked on it. And in a few seconds, obviously this website has removed the background. There is a little bit, as you can see around buffet and all, there is a little bit of you know, a bit of a border over there. So what I can do is I can just click undo and I can bring this up. Let's say we bring it up to 24. We'll click again on that dark blue and it's a lot better than it was before. And then basically all you need to do is scroll down Okay, making sure that you choose PNG because if you choose JPEG or PDF, it's going to download it again with a white background, which obviously <laughs> goes against to what it is that you're hoping to achieve. Make sure you click on PNG. It will download it with a transparent background and then you can just basically save it to your hard drive, drag that onto Canva or whatever image editing program that you are using. And then obviously you can tweak and adjust the size of the design as we did earlier on in this video on Canva, download it and then upload it to your respective print-on-demand platform. So as you can see, it's really not that difficult to do. There are a few steps, but you know, once you get into the hang of it and you start you know, practicing this whole technique, you're gonna find yourself speeding up. Um, it won't be as difficult to generate, to find ideas, to generate them, to upscale them. Um, what I would suggest that you do is that you do it in batches, create your designs in ideograms, decide on, on a number of designs to create, say, 10 of them, download them all, then obviously upscale them all one by one, and then you can actually design them and lay them out in Canvas so that you're batch processing. And the reason why you want to do this is so that your mindset in the design process will always be on one activity. If you go through all of the process for each design one by one, 
yeah, you will eventually get them done. But the problem is that it might take you a little bit longer because you always have to change your thought process. Okay, now I've, you know, I've researched the design. I've got ideogram to obviously give me the text design. I had to upscale them. I, you know, save them here. Or I uploaded them there. Try to do it in batches and you'll find that you'll probably design a lot faster and you'll find that you'll be able to upload a lot more designs to your shop in a shorter duration of time and obviously get these designs out to the purchasing public so that you can make more sales this Christmas holiday, this fourth quarter. So I certainly hope that you enjoyed this quick tutorial on how to use Ideogram in conjunction with ChatGPT and Canva in order to create a t-shirt design. I already have a few videos about how to do the same thing with Christmas mug designs, um, with stickers too as well. If you haven't seen them, I'm going to put links for them in the description box down below. Have a look. Obviously, I share a few extra tips for those particular products in those videos to help you reach more success this fourth quarter. And remember, what I showed you in this video, you can effectively do the same for any event throughout the entire calendar year. So I certainly hope that you enjoyed today's tutorial. If you did, do me a favor, smash that like button. If you're new to this channel or haven't as yet subscribed to the channel, please do so now by smashing that subscribe button and turn on the bell notification icon so that you'll be informed each and every time that I upload a new video to this channel. But for today, that's all I've got. And as always, be safe, be well, be creative. Bye for now. Hey, thanks again for watching this video. I really appreciate each and every one of you taking the time to do so. If you are interested in taking your print-on-demand business to the next level and learning how to generate more sales, please consider clicking on one of the two video thumbnails that have appeared on your screen now. I'll see you there. Thanks again.